On behalf of the Inkata Freedom Party founder and President Emeritus Prince Butelezi and our President Honorable Sabisa, the entire IPF family and in particularly <coughs> the IPU Brigade, we join the voices of millions of South Africans in commemorating the June 16, 1976 youth uprising. As we look back and reflect, appreciate and act on the hard-won gains made by those who came before us and by those who sacrificed their lives and livelihood so that we can enjoy the political freedom we see today. Youth Month this year marks the 44th anniversary of the student uprising that began in Soweto and spread to countrywide. The significance of this day profoundly changed the nature of our country's struggle for freedom and democracy. The sacrifices of the courageous young people who fought for equal education at the time will forever be etched in our rich, diverse and very painful history. However, today as we mark this month in honor of our young people, they still continue to grapple with socio-economic challenges which ultimately impact on their abilities to access opportunities in the economy. The painful reality is that the struggles of our youth today cannot and will not be swept under the rug. The agents of our young people in mobilizing themselves to fight the status quo has proven over the past 26 years since the dawn, the dawn of our democracy. This generation won't sit idly by and watch as change remains a mere slogan. Young people rightfully are railing for a real structural change in our society. Access to opportunities and the opening up of our economy and industries opportunities for skills development at our educational institutions, social justice, social reform, and greater awareness of the future we want to live in is what sets our fight apart from the past generation. My message to young people today is backed by the wisdom of our elders, our freedom fighters, is that we cannot achieve economic freedom when we break down every institution we require for the next generation uh, to access. Violence will never win. <clears throat> Let's stand united in championing our struggle through constructive means and by occupying the seats, the seats at, the, at, very, at every table and every organizational body that has the ability to affect our chances for a better life. The change and real reform we seek can only happen when we are a united voice as the young people. We must set aside our differences in order to ensure that we strengthen our voices and collectively apply our minds to bringing solutions on the table. Young men, young women, the struggle continues. The struggle continues for all of us in pursuit of the ideals and the realities of the economic justice for all South Africans. I thank you.